Nom nom nom. Big butt fast. as head of the Hunter's Lodge. She's the last of her house. I barely turn a profit even in the best of times, especially since I usually hand out what I can to those in need. Would you care for some fruit? Better enjoy it before someone runs off with the rest of it. Has someone been stealing from you? Yes, almost every night. Not enough to force me to close shop, but definitely enough to hurt. Have you found any sign of the thief? Just a couple of old rhines near the storehouse. Not much to go on. Why haven't the guards looked into it? The guards blame the wildlife, but I doubt they believe it. I guess they have more to worry about than a woman and her livelihood. Is there anyone you suspect? I've known most people here since childhood. None of them strike me as a food thief. You want to talk about other vices, however? I know how to track. I could look for the thief. Really? Thank you. You could start in my storehouse by the river. Someone must be desperate to steal rather than just ask me. I'll see what I can find. Recently. There we go. Tracks. Fruit. The rabbits seem to like it though. Oh, look, the thief dropped more fruit for me to follow. If I can see it in all this grass. so I can have a look. Trail of footprints this time.
Thank you, Savage. You saved me from the sun's judgment. I did what now? I left the misery of Sunfall not long ago, knowing that I'd never be welcome back in Meridian. So I've been stealing food from a woman at Bright Market just to survive. But the Glint Hawks must be the judgment of the sun. You believe it attacked you because you were stealing? Why else? What if I beg forgiveness from the lady? Will that absolve me and save me from the Glint Hawks? I took care of the Glint Hawks, but yes, you should return and apologize. The woman you stole from is kind. She'll forgive you. The sun has spoken! Thank you again, Savage. May the sun light your way! <sighs> Great. People finally stopped calling me outcast, and now it's Savage.